we are asked to write each of the following products using a single base. Do not simplify further. To determine each product, we will be using the product rule of exponents, which is x raised to the power of a times x raised to the power of b equals x raised to the power of a plus b. This rule is telling us to multiply exponential terms with the same base, we add the exponents. And we'll see why this rule makes sense in just a moment. Going back up to number one, because we are multiplying and the bases are the same, to determine this product, we add the exponents. x to the second times x to the fourth is equal to x raised to the power of two plus four. Two plus four is equal to six, and therefore the product is x to the sixth. Let's look at this again and see why this makes sense. Beginning with the original product, let's expand x to the second and x to the fourth. x to the second or x squared means we have two factors of x, x times x times x to the fourth power means we have four factors of x, which is x times x times x times x. Now that we've expanded x to the second and x to the fourth, we can see we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six factors of x, which give us x to the sixth. Again, here's x to the second, and here's x to the fourth. x to the second times x to the fourth is equal to x raised to the power of two plus four, which equals x raised to the power of six. Next, we have the base of negative two raised to the fourth power times negative two. Because we have one factor of negative two here, this means the exponent on the base of negative two would be one. And now to multiply, because the bases are the same, we add the exponents. This is equal to the base of negative two raised to the power of four plus one, which equals the base of negative two raised to the fifth power. And again, let's look at this and see why this makes sense. Beginning with the original product of the base of negative two raised to the fourth power times negative two, we know the exponent of four means we have four factors of negative two. So we have negative two times negative two times negative two times negative two. So here is the base of negative two raised to the fourth power. And then we have times another factor of negative two. Notice how this product contains a total of one, two, three, four, five factors of negative two, giving us the base of negative two raised to the fifth power, which we found above by adding the exponents. We will go ahead and leave the product in this form because it says leave the product as a single base, do not simplify further. So because we have a numerical base, we could multiply out five factors of negative two, which would give us negative 32. But again, because the directions do say leave the product as a single base, we'll leave the expression in this form. And now for the last example, we have y to the fourth times y to the fifth times y. Because we have one factor of y here, we can write y as y raised to the first power because we are multiplying and the bases are the same. To find this product, we add the exponents. y to the fourth times y to the fifth times y to the first is equal to y raised to the power of four plus five plus one, which equals y raised to the power of 10. I hope you found this helpful.